can this be? Where did I go so wrong? There was no way I could lose. How? I don't know. Why didn't you ask this guy? You underestimated him, Mystic Scholar. <clears throat> I see. All this time, thinking I was greater and more valuable. But the error was in my heart, wasn't it? Well done, Dai. That was an amazing Yvonne Strash. Yeah, thanks to the Sword of Champions. Oh, oh no! Not this one, too! The power of the Dragon Crest destroyed one of the most famous weapons ever made? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but that blade is nothing more than an elaborate fake. And the real Sword of Champions has already been delivered to the Dark Lord Hadlar. And my mission, the Supreme Being study, is now complete! What the? What did you just do? <laughs> A gift for my father. It contains all the results of my extensive research. All of the knowledge that I have recorded. With its contents, he can continue the study into the creation of the superior beings. You idiot! Your father, Zabora, cares for no one! Even in your final moments, you still want to impress him? I'm aware of that. But still, I was nothing more than a tool used to do my maker's bidding. And now he will know this tool served its purpose. But despite what he is, he is still my father. It's time. This is the fate of every superior being. When we are defeated, we leave nothing behind. I shall now crumble to black ash. Perhaps it's punishment for toying with the life the gods gave. Samsa. Spare me your pity, human. I am still proud of all that I have accomplished. For however brief a moment, I was the most powerful monster to exist, and I fought a difficult battle that most could not. But someday, someday another superior being will defeat you all. I know. My struggle was not in vain. That's right. It could not have been in vain. All that, all for respect in the eyes of his father. No matter what Zamza said, somewhere deep in that heart, he just wanted to feel like he was loved. I understand. I... I know how he felt. Princess Leona is calling for a World Summit. My presence has been requested in Patnica. World Summit? That's right. She's gathering the kings and queens and leaders of humanity to strategize for a battle against the Dark Army. The kingdoms have made almost no effort at working together, and the enemy has exploited this weakness. As a result, Orzam, Ringaya, and Karl have all been overtaken. But with the call of Princess Leona, the remaining kingdoms decided to collaborate and form a joint strategy to face the Dark Army as one. So that's what she's been planning all along! An excellent idea. When will it be, Your Highness? We kept this secret so as not to alert the Dark Army, but it should be fine now. It is to be held in three days' time. I was planning to leave this evening, but die, my boy. Would you care to join me? I'd like to, but we didn't manage to get the Sword of Champions, so... 
Listen, people from all of the world's kingdoms are going to be attending. What if someone there knows about another legendary weapon? That's true! Your Majesty, we'll leave for Papnica right away using Pop's Zoom spell. Setting off again so soon? I should have known. Wait a minute. Thank you. Without your help, none of us would have made it. You are a true hero indeed. What gives? Even after my amazing performance out there? Ugh, you jerks! I was part of that battle too, you know! Enough! You're making a fool of yourself! How dare you, you stupid ghost! I don't think you have the right to talk down to someone like me! <laughs> Can't you tell? That ghost is Master Brokina. This old man is the martial arts master? But Master, why were you in disguise? I just wanted to see how you two would do in the tournament, so I whipped this old body into shape and followed you. I didn't expect everything to go the way it did, but in the end I still got to see the well-earned results of Mam's training. The experience was good for you as well, wasn't it, Chiu? I've been training you for three years, although your obsession with showing off certainly held you back. But it seems all you needed was to be backed into a corner. Your new move is quite impressive. I would actually say that you've grown. <laughs> You're a proper hero too, Reddy. You've got real guts, friend. More than we expected. That's just how it is, Chiu. Fame may follow you later on in life, but you must never seek it for yourself. <laughs> Great master! He's a good teacher. Well, should we go? Master? I'd really like to travel with Miss Ma'am, may I? Go ahead, but maybe ask them for permission first. I thank you for everything! Hey! Uh, wait up, you three! If you insist, I would be willing to help. And Zoom! Huh? Hey! Wait for me! That was kind of mean. Well, he hasn't exactly learned to be humble, now has he? Maybe. Still, he's an interesting guy, I think. Just looking at him, all of my worries about being human or not seem almost insignificant. He's a good example to live by. I suppose it might be nice to bring someone like him along. Afterwards, the party returned to Papnica using Pop's Zoom spell and were greeted by Crocodine. Crocodine was delighted to see Mam had returned. The party then introduced him to their newest member, Chu. From there, Crocodine showed them Papnica's Grand Chapel, where Leona and the other leaders had gathered for the summit. Nevertheless, as the humans tried to unite in opposition to the Dark Army, a new threat drew near. Upon hearing that Leona was putting together a world summit, the party returned to Papnica. The princess wished to invite leaders from across the globe. Among the fallen nations, she could only rescue General Boson of Ringaya. When Dai asked whether any of the attendees were versed in legendary weapons, King Vulcan of Terran was mentioned. Dai's party thus conferred with the king who had arrived in Papnica. King Vulcan explained that the metal used to forge the Sword of Champions, or a calcum, was created by the gods. Only a small amount was bestowed to humanity. Therefore, he concluded, it was unlikely that a blade stronger than the Sword of Champions existed anywhere. Dai then asked if there were any other powerful swords. In response, 
the king summoned the seer Merla to divine that which they sought. The word she divined was Landkirks, which just happened to be the name of Pop's home village, which he left behind to become a disciple of Avon. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry to drag you all the way out here. I just figured we could really use your skills. No problem. I'm more than happy to help all of you. Oh, thank goodness. She's kind and warm. I can see why Pop likes her. Seems like a nice place, doesn't it? It's a tiny village. Nothing's really changed. The shop's up ahead. I'll be waiting right here. You aren't coming with us? If my dad sees me, it'll be bad. Hey, does that lady work in the weapon shop? Huh? Mom! Bob? Is it really you? Huh? Uh... It's my boy! Mom, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Aw, that's nice. He must be really close with his family. Dad? Honey, look who made his way back home. Hey, son. Hi, Dad. Ah! You run off without a word for over a year? You think you can just waltz back in here like nothing's happened? <laughs> Mister, <laughs> calm down! Apologies, we don't normally get visitors in our small village. I can't believe my idiot son is actually helping the legendary hero on his quest. It's thanks to Pop that we're even alive. I don't know where I'd be without him. So, uh, mister, what we were asking about? Right, you want the legendary sword. Well, you won't find one in my shop, but it is possible there's something at my friend Lon's place. Lon? He's a Darkling that I met recently. Darkling? Their name doesn't happen to be Lon Barrick, does it? Sure. So? Those dark armor weapons that Yunkel uses were made ages ago by a guy with the same name, Lon Barrick. Yeah, he can help us! Don't be so sure. He lives in the woods just outside the village. He's not interested in meeting new people. Go away. I no longer see the point of crafting these legendary weapons. Much less a fool's errand like attempting to forge the world's greatest sword. Come on, you have to! If you don't help us, there's nobody else we can turn to! You see, hero, my interest lies solely in how the weapons that I make perform on the battlefield. But recently, there's been no one worthy of wielding them. No matter how powerful the weapon, if the wielder doesn't have the skill, it's nothing but an ornament. You see those swords over there? I forged them to pay for my meals, but they're better than a normal blade. Just take one and leave. Better than normal isn't enough. Even your dark armor blade couldn't withstand the Dragon Crest's power. They turned to dust! Please, mister. I need a weapon greater than the Demon Dragon Blade. Otherwise, we'll never be able to defeat the Dark Lord Hadlar! What? The Demon Dragon Blade? You fought against that weapon? Go on. How did the battle end? It was a draw. I managed to break the blade. 
But mine completely disintegrated. So I guess I lost. You broke the demon dragon blade with a weapon I crafted? <laughs> Wonderful! That's magnificent! Hey, Lon, what's so funny, huh? How can I not be overjoyed? Didn't you know the demon dragon blade was forged by the gods themselves? That sword is the exact weapon I've spent over a century of my life trying to replicate. To hear one of my own creations that I forged out of an inferior metal broke it! You have impressed me, boy. <laughs> With you as its wielder, I can forge the world's greatest sword. I will need to craft it from the same material, but I'm almost certain it will end up being the winning blade. Okay then, let's start! Calm down. I said the same material, the same as the demon dragon blade, or a calcum. Find it, and I can make the sword. What? I... Then we're all the way back at square one. Fantastic. Come on, all we need to do is find some of this metal. Yeah, sure. Easier said than... D <gasps> the the crown, crown of Champions! champions! King Romo said that it was made of orichalcum, didn't he? To Dermaline Island! Grandpa! Where... where is it? My crown of champions! What's going on, Di? It should be somewhere in that pile. Where? No, wait! I found it! Come clean up your mess! Sorry, we're in a bit of a hurry! Die! <sighs> King Ramos, your majesty! Look, the crown of champions! Can we turn this into a weapon? We need to make a sword out of orichalcum! That crown already belongs to you! And why should I stand in the way of the hero and his quest to bring peace to all of the kingdoms? Your Highness, thank you! So what? Has he started yet? The same as before. He tossed the crown into the furnace and now he's just staring at Dai's hand for some reason. Long ago, people and their weapons were as one. Warriors trained relentlessly, created. Jank, give me a hand. This is going to be a big job. Lon has already started forging like a madman. I'm going to help him. Know that it's best not to break his concentration. According to him, this sword is going to be like a living thing bound specifically to your little friend in there. I can't imagine it'll be anything- Right, Papnica? We'll fall soon! King Bengana, as we've said, we must gather the world's forces as one if we want even a chance of defeating the Dark Army. That is the reason we've all gathered here. And my army will lead the charge. Now everyone relax and leave it to me. Your Majesty, my country Ringaya, it was known as the Great Fortress Kingdom. And yet our capital was destroyed, burnt to the ground by the Dragon Legion after only a week. The power needs to be witnessed if you want to understand. So forgive me, King, but the day that they come to your gates, you may wish for the sake of your country that you had done more to stop them before it got that far. You insult me, General Boson. Do you not understand that my army is the greatest to have ever existed? All the effort put into getting everyone here. This is going nowhere. Observe! My cutting-edge top-class warship. My unstoppable tank brigade. No matter what forces the Dark Army may have, they can't... I... I... Uh, that's... impossible!
It's Sovereign Rock Castle! So Hyunko's hypothesis was right. Sovereign Rock Castle itself is a walking fortress, a giant overfiend. Hold on! How did something that size get so close without anyone noticing? Well, there's a thick mist covering the ocean. A mist? Could it be... Mistfern? And gone a ship. Just as Hadlar suspected. The world leaders are gathered here in Papnica. Pathetic ants who defy King Vern. I'll smoke them out and crush them. It is no coincidence that they've chosen to attack today. They knew about this meeting. Akeem! Take command of the tank brigade! The army of Bengarna will not be defeated so easily! My tanks! My tanks will close! They'll blow that lump of rock to smithereens, you'll see! Follow me! No, wait! That's not just some creature made of rocks! It's the Sovereign Rock Castle, the main fortress of the Dark Army! To face it head-on would mean absolute de We're counting on you! I will join you post-haste! Uh, it's no good. I still can't use the crystal ball the way my grandmother does. Hey, that was enough. We just needed a glimpse. Something big is on its way. We need to go! Immediately! Hold it! Have you forgotten? This sword is being made for you. It's being imbued with a life force equal to yours. This is no ordinary weapon. It has a soul! When this blade reaches out to your soul, when it sees you as its wielder, it'll unleash the greatest power of all. That is why you must stay here and bear witness to its creation. A blade like this needs to hear Dai's soul speak directly to it. And without that voice calling out to it, this becomes merely another weapon destined for mediocrity. Lan is pouring his life into creating it. It must take godly strength beyond our understanding to be able to make a sword like this one. Okay then. Die, you'll stay here. Wait here for your sword to be finished. We'll hold off the Dark Army for as long as we can. <sighs> that was pretty cool what I said back there. I guess I can't back down now that I've said it though. Whatever that thing is, it looked huge. What am I even doing? I'm an idiot! It's official. That guy is freaking out, Miss Ma'am. Are you really sure about him? He's fine. Every time I start to think Pop is about to lose it, he somehow gets it under control. It's actually kind of incredible. He's done this as long as I've known him. Hmm. Ah, uh, no point chickening out! Grab the bull by the horns! Uh, and Dad, don't forget to be useful to Lon Barrack, alright? Can it? You better not get in everybody's way, you little brat! Show them what you're made of. I will. Hey, Dad, thank you. Now, zoom! Our little pop's gone away again, hasn't he? Yeah, but I've... Never seen that kind of look in his eyes. So much passion behind them. He's gone into the world and come back all grown up. I remember when he ran away from home. We were so angry at that Master Avon he went away with. We should thank him. He turned that little wimp into a man, didn't he?
see that? Do you see? The undeniable power of Ben Garner's army! <laughs> Princess, where do you need us to go? Down in the bay. But how did you even know? Merla warned us, so we hurried back as fast as we could. Where's Dai? I thought you were together. He's busy making the world's strongest sword. It'll be ready any moment now. But until the sword is actually finished, we have no choice but to hold them off. Ha <laughs> ha! You can forget your world's strongest sword. Who needs something like that? Just look. My Bangurna Tank Brigade will soon blow that giant to pieces. They won't. It'll defeat them. Behind all that smoke, it's clear that the monster's energy still hasn't waned at all. In fact... Hold your fire! Now! There should be nothing left. Now you've done it. You've ruined the surprise. Behold Sovereign Rock Castle's true form. Princess Leona of Papnica and the rest of the world leaders in attendance. I am Shadow Legion Commander Mistburn. I serve the great Dark King Burn. I have but one command. Perish. You are all worthless. Nothing more than vermin to the Dark King. There will be no surrender. So, I will erase this kingdom. the final gasp of humanity, my king sends his regards. Yuck! I'm coming too! Two. Vermin? Surrender won't be allowed? Who is he to call anyone garbage? Well, I'll show him! That does it! Wait, Pop! I'm coming too! Leona, when you get the chance, run! Please be careful! We need you to! Pop, calm down! We're not gonna beat this guy if we lose control! I know, ma'am, but that kind of talk really gets under my skin! How dare he! I'm gonna show him that we humans aren't as weak as he thinks! Crocodile's surrounded! I'll go down and help them! Uh, hang on! I thought your refractor fist attack only worked on living creatures. Will it even work on those things? <laughs> For enemies like these? I have brute force!
This one's the real deal! You're up against me, you big dumb giant! Let's see how you deal with this! Boom! Yeah, there! That should do some serious damage! Okay, that wasn't... <laughs> Puny little fly. Miasma, deal with him. Fizzle? Oh man, are you kidding? If my spells get sealed... I'm in trouble! Hurry! Hurry up and finish it! Die! Relax yourself. Your agitation is going to affect the sword. Don't worry. Once this is complete, there's no enemy in the world you won't be able to go up against. Trust me. Trust the power of this sword. And trust that Jank's son and the others can hold their own. Right! I'm counting on you, Pop, Ma'am, and everyone in Papnica. I'll be there soon. Hang in there, Miss Ma'am. The gallant Chew is on his way to help save the day. Hold on! I, Badik, Papnica's greatest inventor slash swordsman, am coming to save the day. Who does he think he is? is? There's too many, if I want to take them all out. Pop, I heard you used the Five Finger Flare spell. Never use it again. Uh-huh, why not, Mentor? It's practically forbidden magic. Only a being with no regard for its life would use it. That kind of magic will shorten a regular human lifespan. I know it was for your friends, but if you keep that sort of thing up, I... <coughs> Mentor! Are you... why didn't... why didn't you say anything? It won't be long now. Shortened as it is, a hundred years is still too many, considering how few Avan and Roka got. What a blockhead! 
everyone. Don't worry. In time, you'll learn many powerful spells. By then, it's too late! I need it right now! Mentor! My finger flares! Holy cow! When did he learn that one? Nice pop. We have to keep it up. Here we go, guys! Right! Vortex! Back! Everybody! Scatter! Move! <laughs> hey there. I got them all. Oh, Pop, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just a little burnt out. Now, all that's left is that Colossus. <laughs> Did you fools think it was over? My Shadow Legion is an immortal force. So long as they have Dark Aura, they will continue to resurrect. And within Sovereign Rock Castle's chest, the Lung Chamber, my armored warriors are provided with a constant stream of Dark Aura. The Lung Chamber, that's right. The forbidden wing of Sovereign Rock Castle. Then their army is endless. No matter how many we beat, they'll keep coming. This... this might be it for us. You disappoint me, Pop. I thought you were a disciple of Avan. He'd hate to hear you whine about enemies like these. We just have to defeat them all. Until they realize there's no point in coming back. I see. Okay! Okay! All right, here we go!
fire or a flash! Okay. All right, here we go. How about that? Okay. This one's... Don't... Don't... Don't let your guard... Don't let... Yuck! I'm coming too! Don't let your guard down. I am the first and foremost... Don't let your guard down. I am... I am the... Don't worry. They're not... Don't worry.
Let's get this started. Stronger every day.